back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. We are now two weeks out from moving day, which is very exciting. We just ordered our packing stuff, so like boxes and um, bubble wrap. Are you okay? See you later. So this vlog, you will actually see some stuff go in some boxes. That sounds really boring, but I'm actually weirdly excited about it. Alex has just done like a quick whip round and sorted out his stuff. So we're very much getting ready to move and moving is getting very, very close. Welcome to another weekly vlog and let's get on with it. So while my computer is updating, let's sort through my eyeshadow palettes. I have this drawer down here, which has pretty much most of my eyeshadow palettes in. And then this drawer down here just has some of the bigger ones in it that kind of overflow from the drawer above. So let's start with this one. First off, we have this little tray that's got some of my smaller eyeshadow palettes in it. I've got the Beauty Bay Pastels. It's such a beautiful eyeshadow palette, so I'm definitely keeping hold got the Nip and Fab Fired Up palette. Has the most gorgeous array of matte shades. I don't use them very often, but I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile. We have the Narcissist palette, which is absolutely beautiful, and I have to keep hold of it. We've got two of the Gosh palettes, which are some of the most underrated eyeshadow palettes on the market. They're absolutely beautiful. The Tarte Tartlet palette, you can't, you can't not keep this palette, so that's got to stay. This is the e.l.f. Mad Matte Palette. It's in Summer Breeze, but I I think I've reached for this like once since owning it. So I'm actually not going to keep this. I've got the Zoeva Matte Voyager Palette, which has some really lovely kind of warm toned neutral shades in it. I've got my Max Factor Smoky Eye Drama Kit. I used to love this and it has a really lovely shade in it here but I just don't reach for this anymore and I have a lot of these shades in other palettes so I'm gonna actually get rid of that one. I've got the NYX Ultimate Edit Petite Palette. So this is a really cute little palette. I'm gonna close this. But once again, I just don't reach for this like ever so I'm gonna pass on that one. We have the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. This is a dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette, which I also do have. They are both beautiful palettes, and I am going to keep hold of both of them. Got the Max Factor Masterpiece Nude palette in the shade Rose Nudes. Max Factor, underrated brand. I love some of their stuff, so definitely keeping hold of that one. So that's emptied this little tray. I've got my Too Faced Teddy Bear palette, which I got for my birthday. I've been using this while I was away last week, and it's a really, really lovely palette, so definitely keeping hold of that one. We've got the Marc Jacobs palette, which is beautiful, so 100% keeping hold of that one. I've got a stack here of some of my most used palettes. These are 100% all staying. So we've got the Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette, which I mean, I'll give you one guess which shade is my favourite. We've got the like Sofa Does Nails Revolution palette the Anastasia Soft Glam, Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. This this has become one of my favorite palettes ever. Luna Beauty Life's a Drag palette, and it's absolutely beautiful. There's a bigger version of this out now, and I kind of, I kind of want it. This is one of those palettes where I use it and then don't use it in kind of phases, but this is the Urban Decay uh, Born to Run palette, which has some really lovely shades in it. I just, I quite often forget that it exists. And then the Vive, the Essential palette, which is one of my favourite palettes of all time, and I really, really want her second one. Then at the back here, we have the Charlie Betty Beauty, the Earth palette. This, I think, is my favourite PR package I've ever, ever received. We've got the MUA Burning Embers palette, which was a real, real classic when this first came out, but I haven't used this for years, so I'm actually going to pass that one on. I've got the Violet Voss palette, which is another beautiful, stunning, warm, neutral one. Uh, so even Nude Spectrum. Something about it, I just can't get rid of it, so keeping hold of it, for sure. I mean, anyone who gets rid of MAC eyeshadow palettes probably needs some seeing too, because this palette would have cost me like a hundred quid. So I am probably going to hold on to this to the day I die. But I mean, can you see what kind of eyeshadows I like? I mean, it's the same as every other palette in my collection, but I just 
I've got the Barry M Analingus palette, which I actually really love this. So I'm gonna keep hold of this one. I forgot I owned this palette. It's the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, but it is beautiful and I should probably start using that more often. I've got a Dear Dahlia palette here. This shade here is beautiful. So I'm gonna keep hold of this one. I got gifted the um, Friends Revolution set, but I just, I don't think I ever used this palette. Like, I don't know if these are massively my thing. I think if I was gonna keep any of them, it would be this one. I might keep this one just because I haven't used it yet. Try this one out and then I'll pass on these two because I clearly, I clearly just don't use them. I've got three more palettes in here. I've got the Milani palette I can't find the name for. This is beautiful and has the nicest shades of green. Maybelline Nudes of New York palette. Maybelline are just, there is something about the eyeshadows, they're a bit shit. So I'm not gonna keep that one. This palette is so cute. So this is the Red Panda palette from Endangered Cosmetics. It is the most adorable thing in the entire world, so I'm gonna keep hold of it. I've got the Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade palette. Just adore this. The shimmers in this palette are literally the most stunning things in the whole wide world, so 100% keeping hold of. Did so with the Morphe and James Charles palette, which I love basically if i need a bright colored eyeshadow this is the palette that i come for this one with a jacqueline hill morphe palette if i want like a nice standard warm toned neutral shade this palette's where i come to and oh my god mine looks battered you know what i'm gonna get rid of this this is the beauty pay evolve palette and this was one of their first palettes they ever came out with and it just a lot of these shades look so similar on the eye so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one, but I will keep pretty much everything. So I'm gonna pop it back into the drawer and then I'll give you like a little rundown of what I'm actually keeping. Probably not how I'd store it long term, but for the sake of the next two weeks and to keep all my eyeshadow palettes together, I've actually managed to make them fit all in one drawer. So these are all my eyeshadow palettes. I've got my smaller ones at the front here, kind of my most frequently reached for, and I've just sort of shoved everything else at the back. This is how I'm gonna live for the next like week and then it'll probably get packed. So these are the ones I'm getting rid of. Really not that many, but I'm glad I just went through it to kind of make sure I was happy with everything I still owned. So I've just taken off all my makeup and I thought I'd give you a quick skin update. So a few vlogs back, I had the most outrageous and ridiculous breakouts on my chin. And I said, obviously it was because I was coming off of the pill. So they're all like around here, which is tends to be where I get breakouts, like just before my periods. They seem to be calming down a bit. Like I'm still getting lots of like tiny little ones, but I'm not getting like massive, big, like volcano ones like I was getting. And I honestly think it's a combination of these two products that I've been using. One is already a repurchase. This is my second bottle. I'm about halfway through this. I think I've spoken about this in a skincare segment of a vlog before, but it's the Monday's Child Skin Perfecting Oil. This is, it's from a UK brand. They're based, I think it's in Devon. It might even be in Norfolk. It's a seaside county. Norfolk and Devon could not be further apart, but it is the nicest face oil in the world. It's specifically designed for people with oily and blemish prone skin. And then a new discovery that I have found, and also something that when I was really sick last week, you'll have noticed that my nose got super, super, super red, and it really dried up the center of my nose, but this is incredible. This is the Your Good Skin Balancing Skin Concentrate. It was gifted to me, but oh my god. My skin just like completely sucks this up. So it's enriched with unique antioxidant complex green tea and vitamin C. It's just the dream. So these are what I've been using. I've obviously still got breakouts. They're still coming up fast like i've just had one come out today i am gonna go to bed now and i will speak to you guys in the morning hi guys so it's sunday 
Do anything about she said hello to you today? Yeah, we've just been sorting some things out. You'll have seen this morning that I took some bags of clothes to the charity shop. So I've put on some weight during lockdown. It's no secret. And while I'm sure I could lose it if I wanted to, it's just a fact of life. Weight fluctuates. I'm still healthy. I still eat well. I still move my body. Like everything's great. So I just got rid of all the clothes I was hanging on to that I didn't fit in anymore. I just thought I would get rid of them and start fresh. Having a really, really lovely day. I've taken some Instagram content. I've got some things to post over the next uh, wee while. I've tried to go a little bit more autumnal with my colour palette just to kind of bring in the new season. And obviously when I move, we're not going to have this desk. So I'm going to have to find a new vlog setup, which I'm both excited and quite nervous about. And I thought we'd just quickly, really quickly, because I do sort through them quite frequently, go through my lipstick collection and just make sure everything in here I actually want to keep. So at the top here, we have some bullet lipsticks. I don't really get on with this Friends lipstick from Revolution. So I'm gonna pass on that. And this Gosh lipstick, has actually just expired i tried it on the other day and it felt and smelt really strange but everything else in here i'm gonna keep hold of next draw down we're talking more kind of high-end expensive lipsticks so i've got two from mac two from charlotte tilbury one from Stila, and one from venti i'm gonna keep hold of all of them because they're all beautiful next up we have the other counterpart gosh lipstick that's gone off and then i have my revolution lipsticks which i am just obsessed with so they are all staying we then have the dear dahlia lipsticks i actually really love these but a lot of the shades are quite similar so i think this is one of those things i'm going to sort out in my own time and just keep probably half of them up here we have my lip pencils so i'm slowly working my way through these so i'm just going to keep hold of all of them in here we've got kind of lip glosses and lip toppers i can smell quite easily that this lip oil has gone off i also i just don't wear either of these two so this is a skin chemist rose quartz youth defense lip palm and this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I just don't wear them, so I can't quite see the point in keeping hold of them. Ditto with this. I picked up recently, but I just did not get on with it. It's the Rimmel Oh My Gloss Plumping Lip Gloss. So I'm going to pass on that one. And then keep these. Next up, we have the Rimmel lipsticks and some Bourjois lipsticks. These are all beautiful, 100% keeping hold of all of those. We then go down and we have three of these lipsticks from Maybelline. They are lovely lipsticks, but they are, I've had them for absolutely years. So they should totally go in the bin. <laughs> and then we have two of the L'Oreal. These are kind of like their shiny color shine, reshine, shine, whatever they're called, lipsticks. So then over here, we head into kind of liquid lipstick territory. At the top here, we have quite a few kind of, these are like, aren't firm favorites, but lipsticks that I do wear. So we've got the NYX Powder Puff, which is beautiful. We've got one of the Revlon lipsticks. They have loads in this kind of packaging. They're all really, really lovely. We've got the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit and a Smashbox liquid lipstick. So these are all lovely. So 100% keeping hold of all of those. This is like my favorite drawer. So we have the L'Oreal lipsticks, which we all know I'm obsessed with. The NARS liquid lipstick, which is beautiful. And then the new kind of NYX double-sided lipsticks, which I'm obsessed with. Next up, we have some more nude lipsticks. So I'm gonna actually pass on the Nip and Fab lipsticks. They're really super drying. This is really lovely. This is what I've tried recently. It's the Revlon Cloud Blotted Lip Color. It's like a really subtle, like really comfortable lipstick. The Dose of Colours is beautiful. The Illamasqua lipstick is stunning. This is Birthday Suit Sleek, which is another beautiful matte lipstick. And then I've got this Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. So I got this in the advent calendar and the shade doesn't really suit me. So I'm gonna pop that over there. The penultimate draw. So we've got more liquid lipsticks. This Ophra is a repurchase. I've had two of these before. This is the Charmed Liquid Lipstick, beautiful. This is Marva Wet n Wild, which is a lovely, lovely shade. This is the L'Oreal 
Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Le Macaron. I don't hate this, but I don't love it either. So I think that can go in this little to get rid of pile. The Revlon Color Statin Ink is beautiful. I really want to get a like a red in this formula. I think a red in this formula would be really, really lovely. And then I've got one of the bourgeois lipsticks, which I also adore. And then last but not least, these are more kind of lip glossy things. So I'm actually... I just don't wear lip gloss and if I am it's going to be the Fenty one that's in here so I'm going to get rid of the sleek matte me metallic the Maybelline lifter gloss and the pixie by Petra lip gloss then we have the trifle cosmetics lip and cheek jam which I used to adore i used to love this so so much but it's completely dried up this used to go in the bin but i did really enjoy this while i had it i got an empty drawer i don't think i did too bad that's like a good healthy amount to get out i'm now just going to condense the collection into like just a few drawers so yeah it fits into why can't i count fits into seven different drawers so this is my entire collection so yeah, considering I did my wardrobe this morning, I think we are pretty much there with the decluttering and organisation of this flat. I think we're pretty much in a place where we can start packing. So suddenly it's dark when I commute home, which is a bit different. The sunset though was like, I have to make some more food. Obviously, we eat every day. I've discovered a new album today, which I am obsessed with. If you don't know who Marissa Wallace is, she was Becky and Waitress on the West End, but she's been like lots of other things as well. She came out with an album in 2020, I was totally unaware of its existence, but I have just started listening to it. Oh my God, it's amazing. Let me um, play you as much as I can get away with. Best. It's like musical theatre meets like soul music. If you really like cooking, I cannot recommend enough buying like ready chopped garlic in like a little tin like this. It's just like ready chopped up garlic. This lasts for months. We've had this for about eight months and we're nearly finished. Oh, it smells the best. to try and use up some products before I move. I'm running a bath. So I'm just gonna have a really relaxing bath with my book. I've been reading this book from Stephen King for the longest, longest time. It's actually a really good book. I just, um, just keep forgetting to read it. So yeah, I'm having a night in the bath. The boxes have arrived. Do you think we have enough bubble wrap? Mm -hmm. We packed our first box. Boop, 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 boop. So I've moved the piano over to here and then we're going to keep all of the boxes that we're going to pack in this corner. Yeah, time to start packing some of this. Today is Wednesday. We got our boxes yesterday. You'll have seen that I packed one 
box and half packed a second box. We need to actually start packing because we're out for dinner on Thursday. We're out to the theatre on Friday and we're dog sitting for my mum at the weekend. So we're losing the rest of this week. So we need to start packing. We are well on the way to eating through all the food in the house, which is another great achievement. And it's just generally a good week. And that's basically what I have to tell you. That's, I mean, my brain can think about work and packing and then my brain is full, so. to go to the Barbican to watch some music. BBC singers sing Fiore's Requiem, so can't wait. Finally get to leave work. It's the weekend. So I'm gonna end this weekly vlog here. Yeah, the moving has officially started, which I am the most excited about. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. And I will see you guys next week for more packing. Ah, bye.